Hi everyone, I hope you all. This is Coins Kid. Just gonna love to XRP once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Key crew. Sorry for the late delay on the XRP video today. I've had a problem with a PC. Um, right now, the DXY has hit this level of resistance and it is beginning to roll down the stairs off this third point of contact. A lovely little rising channel. We broke down back tested support. So right, we're coming up, making a lower high. So if this is some kind of double top pattern, or even here we've got a left shoulder, a head, a right shoulder, this will begin to come down. So this is confluence my reason why I've jumped into a long on Bitcoin, not necessarily X XRP yet. I need to see a little bit more price structure from XRP before I entertain the long right there. I've not necessarily seen them five waves down. We'll have a look at that in a moment on the price structure. But you know, so far so good. This is good news. This is why we're starting to see the Bitcoin price come up right now. So please check out the Bitcoin video. You know, there's a lovely little long opportunity. I've been talking about that all week in confluence of many other charts. This is what I do. I don't just you know make things up. I always try and find confluence in other charts for analysis to go long and go short on XRP and Bitcoin. So I think it's just a bit of a patience game with XRP. I still have an anticipation patient we will see another little load right there uh, because on the micro we've put in three waves and I've gone through this with you but the possibly opportunity is going long today on XRP so we'll jump into charts in a moment but so far so good if we do get the breakdown on the DSY and it does begin to come down and loses this green line then wow you know we could be about to go vertical over the next few months here in the crypto markets and you know we're looking for a continuation right there so I'll update you as best I can you know in a discord or whatever but right now we've got this level of resistance with that flush of the downside potential a b c correction coming back up if we do get the continuation I've spoken about this for a very long time if we do start to make a macro lower high here if you look on the daily from this spring last year look at that boom came up like that came down right now it's coming back up as well and equally here we've got the massive rising channel bearish rising channel broke down this was a beautiful time for Bitcoin but not necessarily for XRP but this next leg if XRP has found the bottom of its correction which it possibly has and we've gone through that so many times then the next leg down in the DSY is a vertical for the XRP chart and it's just you know it's confluence it's not bullshit it's not opium it's just simple technical analysis and data that relay to you on a daily basis right there so let's dive into the XRP chart and see what's going on in the price structure at the moment okay so take a look at XRP on the hourly time frame at the moment keep an eye in the zone down here because I like I said to you I think this possibly turns into some kind of accumulation zone where we do put in another little flush to the downside if that is the case then what we're looking for is five waves we've got a one possibly two this is a three, you know, we've got some kind of selling climax just there. And at the moment, we're coming back up in a four. Then we'll have a final fifth wave down there and some kind of five wave move to the downside, which potentially presents a spring of Wyckoff accumulation, possibly something like this. OK, so we come down in a one, ABC two, three, ABC four. And then we're looking for one, two, three, four, five waves down, some kind of spring. And then boom, we start to come back up the stairs. We've got an increased probability of the Wyckoff accumulation playing out with the spring down here and the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. start to come back up the stairs again okay? so at the minute you know I can't get too bearish although we've lost these lows XRP is still holding the structural support for the continuation of the bull market from which it started in January of 2023 we've had a beautiful five wave move up like this one two three four five we had that correction in July of last year which I expected we're coming back down to test the support before a potential vertical in this chart so it's really important over the next few weeks we pay attention to this potential Wyckoff accumulation schematic that's playing out under our noses so at the minute uh, possibly in the AR phase come up in the automatic rally create the ST secondary support and then boom come back up into this level here around about 05623 and then boom we bolt down in the five ways everyone's like oh no it's going to zero we look for some kind of spring down here eventually and then you know we've got this beautiful Wyckoff accumulation where we do start to turn around and all this is is just corrective coming back down to support from which we've come and then boom we're looking to turn around so I'll keep your update as best I can but this is why at the moment I'm not necessarily entertaining any longs on XRP because it's so volatile obviously anything can happen but i do think we've got a little bit of a cheat code of xrp uh, bitcoin sorry this is why i've jumped into long positions on bitcoin hope you understand the update what i'm looking for is a possible abc into that resistance and then a five waves down and that could be a beautiful little sweet spot for us going forward i keep your data as best i can okay stay healthy stay tuned take care everyone back to another update on xrp bye bye